Hello traders, this is Ozeek from NGT Traders Group with another video. So today we're going to be talking about identifying tradable candlestick patterns. It has been said there's many ways to trade the market as there are people. One of the ways that traders find trades is through candlestick patterns that form on the chart. These Japanese candlesticks form patterns sometimes as a single, double, or triple candle signals. These candle patterns can be seen on all time frames. However, the stronger patterns are seen on the higher time frames, such as one hour, four hour, daily, weekly, or even monthly. Some of the names of the candles are pin bars, bearish engulfing bars, bullish engulfing bars, hammer, dark cloud cover, sunny day, inside bar, and bullish or bearish. There are many other patterns, however, for the purpose of this presentation, we will discuss the following candlestick patterns named above. The individual candles represent the struggle between the bulls and the bears, or otherwise known as buyers and sellers. The buyers look at where the price is currently on the chart and has made a determination that they want to buy low, while the seller looks at where the price is currently on the chart and has made a determination that they want to sell high. For example, the bullish pin bars. Pin bars come in many shapes and sizes, and it does not matter too much what color the pin bar is. What is identifiable about the pin bar is its long tail, and the body of the pin bar closed in the upper one third of the bar. Also it matters where and when the bar forms on the chart. These bars represent possible strong buying, and that the bulls have won the fight. This is an example of the bearish pin bars. These bearish pin bars, just like the bullish pin bars, are different in shapes and sizes. What is identifiable about the pin bar is its long tail and the body of the pin bar closed in the lower one third of the bar. Also it matters where and when the pin bar forms on the chart. These bars represent strong selling and that the bears have won the fight. Let's take a look at this next chart. Green pin bar signaling that buying in the short term was coming to an end. As you can see, the topping tail bar, it came up pretty strong here, cut and hold, pulled back, closed lower and a uh, substantial down move followed. It was a bullish pin bar, bot or bullish bo bottoming tail bar I like to call it. Came down, pushed right back up before it, uh, before it closed. Shows signaling that bulls are coming into the market here. A review of the daily USD Swiss, we can see that the pin bar forms where the market has decided to make a turn for the bulls or the bears. Also in any area of support or resistance. The color of the candle has little significance to the signal. Another candlestick pattern is referred to as the engulfing pattern. Just like the pin bars, there is a struggle between the bulls, buyers, and the bears, sellers. So we have the bullish engulfing pattern and the bearish engulfing pattern. The bulls look at the price on the chart and decide that they want to buy low. The bears look at the price on the chart and decide that they want to sell high. Let's look at the patterns below. These are patterns of the bullish engulfing bar and the bearish engulfing bar. In the picture above, the bullish engulfing bar signals that the bulls have put in a large order in the market and any selling may be coming to an end in the short term. The second picture shows just such a scenario, the price is falling. Then the next candle that opens, immediately the buyers come in and begin buying up price and close the bar almost twice the size of the previous close, the bearish bar. 
On the other side of the buying are the sellers in the picture above the bearish engulfing bar signals that the sellers have put in a large order on the price and any further buying may be coming to an end at least in the short term. The second picture shows just such a scenario. The price is rising then the next candle that opens sees price falls below the low of the bearish bar and close the bar almost twice the size of the previous closed bullish bar. The next pattern we will talk about is the dark cloud cover. This is a pattern often seen at resistance. For example, in a rising market, the price is approaching resistance and then the pattern forms, signaling that long-term momentum is coming to an end. Price is rising, price is approaching resistance, and then the pattern forms, signaling in the short term that momentum to the upside is coming to an end. Let's take a look at this next chart. There's a couple examples of a dark cloud cover. Here on the chart showing the dark cloud cover patterns, price reach resistance and the two candle patterns form. We can clearly see the bullish candle has been completely eclipsed by the bearish candle. Each time price pulls back into resistance, the pattern forms, then the market sells off. These patterns used by traders are used in connection with the structure of the market. For example, trend, support and resistance, trend lines, etc. These are a couple examples of the sunny day pattern. They're exactly the opposite of a dark cloud cover. The sunny day patterns are just the opposite of the dark cloud cover patterns. The patterns show potential buying opportunities. The price reach support and the two candle patterns forms after price reach support. We can clearly see the bearish bar has been completely eclipsed by the bullish bar and price began rising. These patterns can be traded on any time frame, however traders will find that higher time frames are more reliable. Other patterns are the inside bar and hammer. inside bar in a downtrend. The inside bar are tradable patterns that some traders can clearly identify. In a downtrend, price forms a directional move, then shortly thereafter, an inside green bar is formed. However, price soon ignores this bullish attempt before taking out the low of the bar, which signals a continuation of the downside momentum. Next, we will look at the chart for an inside bar in an uptrend. The inside bar in an uptrend is similar to the inside bar in a downtrend with some expectations. The inside bar on the chart above is formed in an uptrend. The bars are red and there are multiple bars formed within the body of the previous bars. Again, the market provides direction and the inside bars are formed. The sellers are ignored when the next candle takes out the high of the inside bar signaling a trend continuation. Hammers. These patterns are seen throughout the trend of short term momentum. However, the pattern is more significant when identified at turning points in the market, particularly at support or resistance. hammers at turning points in the market. Here the market is clearly in a downwards move. The sellers are in control of price until price reaches the level the buyers are willing to buy from, which we call support. The sellers are unable to push price lower. The buyers step in and begin buying price up. Now, let's take a look at the chart where the sellers are in control of price at resistance. Hammer patterns at turning points in the market.
we can clearly identify these patterns, especially when we add our trend lines to the chart. First, the pattern appears when the trend line is broken and the bar closed outside the trend line. Then we have an indication where price wants to go, at least in the short term. There are many other patterns that form in the market, however this presentation covers a few. NGT Traders Group is giving away a free system, Forex Power Punch, which can be downloaded when you subscribe to the website. It is free to subscribe to the website. Stay tuned to the YouTube channel for additional information on patterns. Okay, that's it for now. If you appreciate these videos, please click the like button and subscribe on our website and on our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and happy trading.